Hello again. Today I'd like to cook chicken harum masala, which is my favourite chicken curry. It is fragrant, it's refreshing and absolutely perfect for a summer's evening. So let's have a look, see what the ingredients are. ingredients. Starting from the left we've got black peppercorns, cumin seeds, coriander seeds and cashew nuts. I've got a couple of chicken breasts um, which I've taken the skin off. It's uh, perfectly acceptable to use thighs in this as well. Um, we've got some green chilies, I've got some black cardamom pods, uh, I've got garlic, ginger, um, I've got some cinnamon, onion, uh, a little bit of single cream that goes in at the end uh, and I've got some natural yoghurt there um, and I've also got a rather large bunch of mint and a rather large bunch of coriander or cilantro if you're in the US. I also have about half a teaspoon of turmeric which I forgot to put on the ingredients list but don't worry I shall list all the ingredients in the description box below. Into a spice grinder I put three black cardamom pods, about a teaspoon of cumin, uh, a couple of teaspoons of coriander seeds um, and about six to eight peppercorns. Uh, you can also put in about two and a half centimetres of a cinnamon stick. I don't have a cinnamon stick so I've just put in uh, a heap teaspoon of uh, ground cinnamon. And I've put the dry spice mixture into a little bowl to set aside so that we can use it later. Roughly chop the onion and add into a blender along with the garlic, the ginger, the cashew nuts, green chilies, the mint, the coriander and the yoghurt. Blend the mixture until you have a paste. Then place the paste into a bowl and add the diced chicken breast to marinate for at least half an hour. When the chicken is ready, heat some oil in a large pan. Fry some turmeric for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then start to add the chicken and the paste mixture. Once the meat is sealed, add a cupful of water and allow it to simmer for about 25 minutes. Add some more water if you think it's necessary. Finally, add the dry spice mixture and a little bit of cream and cook for about another 5 minutes. And there you have a simple and delightful fresh chicken dish. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe as well and hit the notification bell 